This is Generation Stadia, giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related, and today we have a review of Ember running on Google Stadia. This title launches into early access starting May 21st only on Google Stadia and PC, and is coming in priced at $19.99. That said, there is a launch discount. Stadia Pro subscribers will be able to pick it up for $14.99, and everyone else will also have it discounted at $15.99 upon its launch. Now let's get into this review so you know exactly what to expect out of the game, beginning with the objective and gameplay. There's just no reason to use traditional services when you've got Ember. In the world of Ember, traditional forms of emergency services are long gone, and replacing them is a more modern take. Think Uber meets firefighting, and as such, your job is to respond to these calls and save people stuck in a fire. To do this, you'll customize a loadout containing a variety of tools to get the job done. For example, a ladder that you can use to get in through windows or reach rooftops. But they get much crazier than that, like water grenades, throwing axes, and grappling hooks. And aside from saving lives, you'll also find yourself having to escape dangerous situations set up by the competing Canadian firefighting service, Hoser. And let me tell you, these guys play dirty. They'll restrict access to your loadout while also trying to do everything possible to deny you your escape. Now that you know the job at hand, let's talk a bit more in depth about the gameplay itself, and I'm happy to say that it's actually quite fun. It controls much like a traditional first person shooter, but instead of shooting enemies, you'll be spraying down fires using your portable water cannon. You can also throw things, including the people you're carrying on your back, but do be careful because if they fall from too much height onto solid ground, well, as you can imagine, it won't reflect good on your rating. The levels themselves can feel somewhat puzzle-like in the way you approach them. In a fire, there are tons of hazards aside from just the fire itself, and Ember is no different. You have to be careful of exposed electricity, because if you do hit it with water, it will get electrified and become a dangerous hazard. In order to counter this, you can try and look for a light switch to turn it off, or you may even find the electricity box to the whole building and be able to shut it all down from there. Another danger is toxic smoke. The best way to handle it is through finding a window close by and breaking it to let it flow out. So as you can tell, there's a few things you need to look out for while you're trying to save lives, and more importantly, be very cautious when two of these hazards combine. For example, a gas leak with fire can definitely cause an explosion. Likewise, water and electricity, as stated before, will conduct and you will get hurt by it. The last position you want to be in is pushing through a heavy fire and then shooting water at the floor only to conduct electricity all around you. Then there are stages in which you have to escape that will have you thinking on your feet and fast on how to get out, and I think they serve as a great way to differentiate the gameplay pacing too. For example, when trying to escape, you may find out that they actually cut the electricity, so you have to find a way to actually bring the electricity over with what you got in the room. These stages in general are more puzzle oriented, but they're a fantastic addition. Now I mentioned earlier loadouts and equipment, and this plays a huge role on the gameplay loop itself, not only because it'll make your job easier, but also because it serves as a sense of progression. After every job you complete, you'll be rated and rewarded money based on your performance and completion of side objectives. This money is how you get new equipment, but also how you'll upgrade said equipment in a variety of ways. For example, the grappling hook can be upgraded to have a further reach, but also so it can be able to grab people in trouble. These upgrades make everyone's loadouts even more unique, and honestly, it can really be tailored to suit the playstyle you prefer. This system makes playing the game feel rewarding, as you work toward that next upgrade or piece of equipment you've been wanting. Another very useful piece of equipment is the throwing axe. One example I'll share with you is that if you're opening a door but notice it's about to explode, throw an axe at it from a safe distance to take no damage from the blast. Likewise, you can use it to throw it at a window that's covered in toxic smoke that you normally wouldn't be able to reach. I must say though, the gameplay isn't perfect. I certainly feel the controls on gamepad could be fine tuned just a bit, but to be fair the game is still in early access and I'm sure the developers will work on that. 
You may have also noticed a few visual bugs in the gameplay when picking up survivors and such, which honestly speaking, I can't tell if it's a bug or if it's meant to be that way due to the comedic nature of the game itself. But I do want to make it very clear, despite all this, I never really ran into any game breaking issues that prevented me from enjoying or playing the game itself. Next up, let's talk features and content. We caught up with an ember responder about to head inside. Oh yeah, uh, I'm gonna be saving uh, John, so I, I really better be going. Ember is a game that can be played solo or in online co-op with up to three other friends. It features cross-play across both PC and Stadia versions of the game as well, which is a huge bonus. It currently offers 11 stages, each with different difficulty levels. In terms of equipment, there's a good selection to choose from and then having each one upgradable adds even more user choice and customization. Speaking of which, you can customize quite a bit too, from player clothes to your fire truck, rims and all. This game offers you a ton of unlockables and things you can work towards. I should also mention, there is a bit of a light narrative to the game too, and it's a funny one at that, but I'll leave that for you to discover. There's a decent amount of content for the asking price overall, but I will admit it did leave me wanting more which isn't necessarily a bad thing since the game will be updated with content drops throughout its early access period. Not to mention there is quite a bit of replayability already as the people you need to rescue can appear in different locations every time you load into a map. Then there's also the loadout you decide to take in with you, it can drastically change the way you approach the situation. And let's not forget about the fact that you can play the game cooperatively online, which just causes some pretty crazy situations overall. And yes, for those wondering, the online does have a server list and you can also make private rooms. Now let's wrap up this review. This just in, John is about to rate his exceptional Ember experience. One star? Are you Ember is a really fun game. Considering its early access right now, it also plays surprisingly well. Sure, there are a few visual bugs here and there, but nothing that prevented me from playing the game or more importantly, enjoying it. I think the best thing I can say about it is that it left me wanting more, and that's always a really great sign for any game in an early access period. Mainly because I'm not concerned about the gameplay getting better, but I just want more of it to play. While I can totally understand that some may feel there is too little content in its current state, I would certainly tell them to check it out at a later date and see how it's grown. The gameplay itself is fun, the world built around it is hilarious, and the entire concept is quite unique. It's a very refreshing cooperative experience, I can't wait to play with many of those out there in the Stadia community, but also my friends who game on PC through crossplay. Overall, the package is well put together and there's a very solid foundation to build upon this early access title. Because of all that, I give this early access version of Ember a 4 out of 5. I look forward to seeing what changes with the game throughout updates and all the future content that's going to be added. If it ends up being substantial enough, I can easily see it scoring a 5 out of 5 upon its full release. Now if you enjoyed this video at all or found it helpful, feel free to hit that like button as it really does help the channel out, and if you're wanting more content like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell as well. If you happen to have any remaining questions about the game itself, do leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. As for today's end of video message, I just want to ask you, do you plan on picking this game up come Thursday? If so, let me know in the comments section below cause I'm really looking forward to playing with some of you out there. Now if you happen to have worked on this game and you're watching this video, I just want to say props to you for making a fantastic game, but also as a Canadian, I found the jokes you made hilarious. I'm really looking forward to what the future of this game holds. As always, I want to thank you all for watching, this has been Generation Stadia giving you that daily dose of everything and anything Stadia related. The Gen S community is over 4000 strong and growing by the day, and until next time, I'll catch you in the clouds.